Hi, my name is Catherine Battersby and I'm an author and illustrator and this is my latest picture book, Trouble. When I'm making my books, I always start on paper and you can see I have a folder full of trouble and this is full of drafts and sketches and notes from friends and editorial and redrafting and redrafting and changing and each time hopefully making the story a bit better. You can see I always print out my stories and I write copious amounts of notes as I change the story and develop it and challenge myself to make it better and better and better. In this draft, it was still called The Bear Next Door instead of Trouble. It changed over time. And inside that folder is also the very first storyboard I do, which is when I'm planning how the story will look on the page. And you can see some of the early sketches. Over the page as well, as I was figuring out what the cover might look like, and different complicated sketches. And the characters change a bit in how they look because I, the more I draw them, the more confident I get. And then once I kind of know how it's going to look, but the cover changed even from this stage, I put it together into its first version as a real book so I can turn the pages and see how it's going to work in that way. So once I've designed the characters, and drawn and drawn and drawn and figured out how I want the world to look, then I actually have to start making it. And I made the world of trouble using a kind of digital collage where I collected and made and combined a whole heap of different things and then put them together on my computer. So in Trouble, you will see that I sometimes use photographs. So Squirrel owns a lot of my favourite teapots, one that I brought with me from Australia. And I like vintage teapots too, so I've got a lot of um, British china and um, you'll see behind me that I sometimes put plants in my teapots too. Um, Bear also owns a favourite vase of mine that uh, my husband brought back from Mexico, um, which is in our house. I also scan in a lot of fabrics to use, so Bear wears an old scarf of mine that I've coloured, and his couch is made from some fabric that I found in my mum's sewing room. I also use a lot of interesting textured papers. You'll see that Bear and Squirrel's house is decorated um, with some vintage wallpapers that I've collected. I have hundreds in my collection, and these are the two squirrels and bears that I chose to use for this book. And you'll notice I covered them a bit on the computer to get them exactly right. Um, you'll also notice that Bear's moving boxes are made from really old book pages. So I like to use lots of texture uh, to create the worlds of my story. I think I like to work this way partly because I don't like starting with a white page. Like a lot of artists, I'm a bit intimidated by a completely blank page. So when I use paper or fabric or photos to create the world of my art, then instead I'm starting with colour and sculpting the story out of it. I've also always loved texture. My mum was a seamstress and she had this walk-in robe full of fabric. I loved it in there. It was quiet, it smelled beautiful, it had this soft light, and of course I was surrounded by colour and texture. I also love paper textures too. My mum and I used to make recycled paper and you can see it has really interesting variation in colour and movement and it reflects the light really interestingly. So I think that's really where my love of paper started and I still use a lot of those papers in my books today. Finally, I think I like to use things from the real world in my art, like the papers and textures and fabrics and photos, uh, to make my art more alive and more real. I never want my art to just sit flat on the page. I kind of want it to jump out at you a little bit uh, so that it invites readers to lean in and figure out how it was made. If you look closely at Trouble, maybe you can figure out some of the other photos and fabrics and textures that I've used to make the characters and to make the world. And maybe you can try using collage next time you make some art.